Hello everyone. Now we are going to see about the IUPAC nomenclature of a higher atomic number elements. Because in case of higher atomic elements, at higher atomic number elements, what happened? These all are the elements which are man-made and synthesized in laboratory. So whenever if any element is going to discover or synthesize in a laboratory, so the contribution is not done by a single person. Supposed to be your discovery is done by so many people. They are coming from so many different kind of countries and so many different kind of states. Then what will happen? If the contribution is done by so many different countries people along together, so then how the naming should be in existence? Because everyone wants to give the name of that particular element by their convenience. So obviously there is a conflict that what's supposed to be a name for that synthesized element. Because of that, to get rid of all these questions and problems, the IUPAC has some kind of rules and regulations for the nomenclature of those elements which have synthesized in laboratory. Now, who is IUPAC? IUPAC is nothing but International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, who had set up some rules for the nomenclature. So, the same rules we can use it here for the nomenclature of higher atomic number elements that is man-made elements previously before studying the examples let us we see the rules of IUPAC for such nomenclature but just tell me how many numbers are there in the world can you say yes you are right how many numbers are there only 10 numbers are there in this world which are they the numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 only these are the numbers in this world because the rest of the numbers are nothing but a combination of these 10 numbers so only these 10 numbers we have and these 10 numbers according to IUPAC has some kind of different kind of naming whenever we supposed to use this zero so according to IUPAC rule they called it as nil for one they called it as un for two they says add by for three it is try for four it is quad for five it is paint for six it is heads for seven it is set for eight it is art and for nine it is in so these are the shortcuts or we can use the abbreviations by IUPAC given by this set of numbers. So 0, nil, 1, and like that we can use these abbreviations for the nomenclature of a man-made elements. Now how is it? You know that for 0 anything there is a zero or null we can say it as nil so obviously IUPAC is using the same name that is nil for one it is only a one or a mono or a uni so it is un for two there are two things so it is by for three there are three things so try for four there are using a quad they are not using a tetra why because in case of if we use a tetra the word tetra is starting from a letter t and we already have used this t in terms of try so to avoid the confusion between this t and this t they are not using tetra they are using quad and quad is not a new word for you you are very much familiar with this word quad because many of the cell phones and android applications at the few times earlier was running on a quad core processors so what is the quad quad is nothing but a four times so that means nothing but a tetra in general but to get a confusion to get a rid of confusion they are using quad instead of tetra so for five it is nothing but a paint for six it is heads for seven why are not they using a hip? Can you tell me? 
because in terms of nomenclature of organic reactions we supposed to use this word a hept for a seven number but now we are using a sept instead of hept why again the reason is the same the hept is the word starting with a letter small h and the heads is again starting with a h so to avoid the confusion between these two letters we are using sept for seven instead of hept now eight one it is called as ought and ninth one it is called as in so these are the rules of IUPAC has given for the nomenclature of synthesized element now just tell me the atomic numbers Z is nothing but an atomic number which is more than 100 that means we can apply these rules only to those elements those are having atomic number more than 100 so just consider if we take an example of element having atomic number 101 then what is the name then according to IUPAC one first is the one so one stands for here it is un so we can make a letter un next one is a zero so for zero what is it it is nil again there is one for one there is again un so what is the word now un for one nil for zero and un again for the one does the name over definitely not just by seeing a periodic table by any one of you you can easily conclude that every name of the element has some kind of suffix the same as to that IUPSC also has given a suffix for his rules he tells us that the suffix for the IUPSC nomenclature is given by IUM that means IUM is the suffix for every name so after this un nil un for 101 we can put the suffix that is IUM that this is what the name so what is the pronunciation of this name un nil unium is the name of the 101 elements that means an element having atomic number 101 but this is just a name how can we symbolize this element for having atomic number 101 just take the initial letter of this name previously it is one so this is un un is starting with u so we can make u here now that's zero for zero we are using nil nil is starting with n so we can put a n over here next one one so one is starting with u because it is nothing but un so we can put a u over here so what is the symbol for this element u and u that is un nil un and suffix is i u m so un nil ania is the name of the 101 element that is atomic number 101 carrying element has a name unnil unium and the symbol is u and u but this classification is not throughout as we said earlier this all the elements are synthesized in laboratory so there is a conflict between those scientists what's supposed to be a name for that discovered element so until the name is not fixed by that agency or by those scientists till then only IUPAC use their names whenever conflict is over and the name has been decided by those agencies or scientists so the name is given by them is the mandatory instead of using this IUPAC rules name is that clear so suppose let us we take an another example again if we have an element having atomic number triple one then what will be the name for one it is un for one it is un for one it is un and suffix is i u m then what will be the name un un unium is the name and the symbol will be u u and u always remember while writing this name and the symbol the first letter in nomenclature as well as the first letter in symbol is supposed to be a capital 
and the remaining is supposed to be in a small letters. So this is the rules of IUPAC. So just now consider, suppose if we have another example having atomic number 118, then what is the name? So let us we take an example of another element which is having atomic number 118. So how can we name according to IUPAC rule for this element? The number is 1, so we can make it here un. Next number is again 1, so we can make it here un. Next number is 8, so for 8 what is the IUPAC rule is ought. So we can make it here ought. And what is the suffix for the same is nothing but I U M. So what is the name that un un ottium? And what will be the symbol? We can easily make a symbol. This is one. So for un, this is one. For un, again u, and this is eight. So for ot, it is again o. So the symbol is u u o. So this is what the symbol for un un octium. We can take a more example for the same. Let us we can take an example of 205. Definitely it is not in existence right now. We are taking an example which is far away from us. That means 205 is the element which is not discovered yet. But still we can make a classification through an IUPAC nomenclature. How let us we can see. The first number is 2, so we can say it as by. Second is 0, so we can make it as nil. And third one is 5, so we can make it as paint. So for this 205, by nil paint, and the suffix is I U M. So what is the name for this newer element which is not yet discovered? It is by nil paintium. And what is the symbol then? This is 2. So for by it is b, for zero it is nil, so it is n, for paint it is p. So what is the symbol? b and p is the symbol of this element which is having atomic number 205 which is not yet discovered. That means we can make a names of any elements which are having atomic number more than 100 because obviously all those elements are man-made and they are going to synthesize in a laboratory so we can put a name along with the symbol to each and every element which is coming in existence today onwards so this is a simpler way but as we already have discussed earlier these names are only up to the finish of the conflict between the discovery agencies and the scientists like that so 101 According to IUPAC, we are saying that un nil unium and the symbol is u and u. But now this 101 has a newer name that is Mendelevium and the symbol is MD. That means this element has finished its conflict with this name. That is why the name of the 101 is now MD and the symbol is md and the name is mendelevium that means this iupac nomenclature can useful only up to the name the original name is not given to that particular element let us we take another and final example for the same suppose if we take an example of the element which is having atomic number 106 then what will be the name for the same this is the one so one is starting with the un so we can make it un, then zero, so we can make it here nil, then six, six for heads, so we can make it here heads. And what is the suffix? It is I U M. So what is the name for this one zero six? Un nil hedzium. And the symbol will be un, so it is U, nil, so it is N, and heads, so it is H. That is U and H. But as we said earlier, the conflict of this element has also finished. So what is the name of this element now? It is C Borgium and the element symbol is SG now. So previously it was seen as unnil hexium and the symbol has U and H. 
but nowadays it has a symbol SG that is Cibordium. So let us we revise the entire thing for the IUPAC nomenclature as it is most important whenever you are studying your periodic table. So those elements which are man-made or synthesized in laboratory by many people, those obviously are having atomic number more than 100. For their nomenclature, we can use some IUPAC rules. And these are the IUPAC rules and which is followed by a suffix that is called as IUM. So according to this one, we always have to put these rules by using these numbers. That means suppose if you are using 101, so 1, it is un, so we are putting your un, 0, so it is nil, so we are putting your nil, 1, so it is un, so we are putting your un, and suffix is IUM, that is un, nil, unium. And the, every time the first letter should be in a capital one only. And in case of making a symbol, for 1, it is un, so u, 0, it is nil, so it is n, and 1, it is un, so u. Again, the first letter should be a capital one. So this is the very much simpler way to know the IUPAC names of each and every element. Those are man-made. May they are discovered or not discovered. So you can make a names of any elements that you want. Thank you.